So I'm back to my old mess. My own mess. <laughs> I... <sighs> I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> this is probably going to be a relatively short one. Even though all of these are still relatively short. I don't know. It's informal. It's, uh... It's definitely not what I'm used to doing. But at the end of the week, I'm up subscribers and, you know, I'm getting views. 100% like ratios. So I might as well do something to change that. And talk about something relatively controversial. Um, so I've been having uh, this conversation for years now. Because basically... Um, I've been involved in anti-pedophile activism for those years. Um, and two years ago I started a petition to try and get pedophiles banned from Twitter. To, to, to get Twitter to make a policy that says, hey, you know, we have 13-year-olds on this platform, and because of that maybe we should not allow people who identify as pedophiles on our fucking platform with 13 year olds now it's a fucking petition I, I never actually thought it would do anything um, and two years later what do you know it didn't do anything um, like it's it's a short bit away from being one of the top petitions on change.org <laughs> top petitions on change.org Two years and nothing. Um, so, I mean, you can feel free to sign that. I guess link will be in the description. But, ultimately, the primary purpose of this particular video is to talk about the results of sharing that petition. Um, the first result is the constant cry of censorship and the claims that I'm against free speech because I don't want pedophiles on a platform with children. Well, no. No. It's not against free speech for me to kick you out of my house because you're handing out Nambla leaflets. <laughs> it's not. It's, <laughs> it's me ejecting you from my property because you did something reprehensible. Um... And because the thing that you're doing will cause grave harm to a wide variety of people. Um, the thing that you're doing is promoting harm. And you probably are promoting harm to actively engage in harm on your own. That's how that works. You, you, you'd have a hard time convincing me that people who don't like, do this stuff, who don't find ways to do it, are the ones advocating for it. You know? <laughs> I, I doubt it. So strongly. Um, and that means that they're trying to normalize their sick actions and feelings. Um, you know, and, and the reason that I started this was because of my interactions on places like Twitter where I was finding huge CP rings, CSAM rings, whatever you want to call it, and where I was finding large rings of pedophiles, um, not the least of which was Giovanni Leiftus Morgan, who thinks masturbating babies is okay, and who has groomed somebody before. You know, not the least of which was, was, was Bunny Riley, who only, like, over the past, like, six months have people started to do anything about, um, and only because I've bothered them about it. Uh, <laughs> who thinks that, you know, five to ten is hot. According to this Bunny Riley, five to ten is their AOA, their age of attraction. So, you know, these sorts of people got a little bit on my fucking nerves. And the idea that I, I was watching minor accounts interacting with these people as though they were not a threat, and the idea that there are minor accounts who help these people because they're not so bad is kind of proof that the groomer fucking worked. And so 
I'm against all of that. And have been for some time now. Um, and I'll tell you, it's not free speech. And the reason it's not free speech is because it's actively forming networks. It's actively forming networks to harm children. That's what these people do. That's what it is when this shit is acted upon. Twitter already bans murder fantasies. People are... Like, one, one, such, one such Twitter user is right now locked out of their account because they said that uh, pedophiles should be wiped off the face of the earth. So, that, that word, or, well, that tweet, where they're suggesting that pedophiles shouldn't exist, um, it got them pinged for hateful conduct. But pedophiles uh, discussing this stuff openly doesn't get them flagged at all. At least, you know, not until, like, maybe nine months ago when Twitter said that you can't actively promote it. But their definitions are so loose and terrible that basically active promotion is still happening. Now. Um, you know, and, and like, I've been banned from platforms for even going against pedophiles. The pedophiles have freer speech than fucking I do. So the idea that banning them from Twitter would be somehow a violation of their rights is absolutely fucking stupid. It's not good. So let's be real specific here and say, no, it's not a violation of their free speech. Um, and the second thing is people press me for what I think my, like, the age of consent should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're taking the conversation there, and it's not at all suspicious. It doesn't make you look at all like you want it lower. Lowered to your particular level. No, you're just asking this question purely academically. Um, so, sarcasm aside... When I actually do respond to these people, I say, I kind of think 22 is reasonable. Um, because it's the minimum age, like, due to my knowledge of medicine, the minimal age at which the prefrontal cortex could at least be mostly developed, right? So, the prefrontal cortex is responsible for reasoning. It's responsible for the ability to make rational decisions. Um, and without it, it's kind of hard to do that. And if you can't make rational decisions, you can't have informed consent. Kids can't consent. It's why they have parents sign field trip forms, you know? It's why the, the Pledge of Allegiance is ridiculous, because kids can't consent, much less consent to your nationalism. Um, and it's why th it should be really obvious that an, like a being unable to consent, uh, which will someday have that faculty, should be treated as such, and the wait should be until they reach the point at which they have the faculty. I don't see that as an unreasonable call, but apparently it gets a lot of people a little bit miffed. Now, I'm not saying, by the way, that people who got into relationships like, um, you know, they were 19 and their husband was, 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 was 25 or they were 18 and their, and their boyfriend was, was 20. I'm not talking about that, you know, and I'm not talking about people who were high school sweethearts who stayed that way post high school. I'm talking about openly predatory relationships whereby people with no prefrontal cortexes are being uh, exploited and their lack of reasoning skills gamed against them by people who do have them. So, I don't think that's unreasonable. But for some reason it is. And I've been involved in this thread, which I've been mostly uh, referring to some groups I'm in, 
because I don't want to fucking deal with it while I'm absolutely exhausted. Like, my eyes are closing. It's hard for me to keep them open. <sighs> um, but, I mean, I'll keep going on these subjects for as long as necessary because there are hundreds of Epsteins. The idea that one poofing away means that suddenly... And that's allegedly, by the way. I think the guy is still alive. He was an intelligence asset. He bought a dental chair. Uh, it wouldn't be hard to just, you know, fake his dental records and get all of his bullshit moved to a different place like the bank transfer that happened post-mortem. Uh, mortem. Like, you know, <laughs> he's an intelligence asset. There's proof um, that he was using his leverage to get into people's intelligence portfolios. And there's also proof, you know, that CIA trained Bin Laden as Tim Osman. I have an article on that on Agoras Nexus now. You know, I don't think Epstein is even dead. I don't think they wiped away their potentially useful asset, but that's me. Um, you know, but that's, that's a sidetrack, right? <laughs> the point is that, like, there are hundreds of Epsteins and more being made every day. The more we sit by, the more people try to make it seem like there's an exception or that it can be okay, um, the more children are going to be abused, especially systemically, by people making exceptions just like you. So, that's my, my response to these people. I was tired enough that I forgot that this is also a sponsored vlog, so I'm going to say that now. This is a sponsored vlog. <laughs> Somebody paid money for this shit. Um, Pilar Petri, or Petri underscore Pilar on Twitter, uh, Opsec Drip. There will be a, uh, a channel link right here. Feel free to subscribe to him to let him know that his money uh, went to a good place. Um, Opsec Drip is news in small portions that you can listen to on your break or whenever, uh, from a decidedly libertarian perspective. And 240 glorious pixels. Anyway, this has been me being me. Smash the state.